one is being forced to speak on this issue over and over. Ordinarily, one would just keep quiet and watch. When people are lazy to carry out proper research and investigation, when even the hard facts and evidence are before them, from past events and decided cases, then they, they don't have any right to excuse themselves. They don't have any right to excuse themselves from taking side with one of the contending parties. Wanting to allow the truth to be heard is something that nobody can take away from me. We continue to insist on telling the truth. No matter how bitter these truths are, we are going to tell this truth. Any student of history knows that this part of the world that is called Niger Delta, there were major states, and these states controlled these territories. And the main states before the 1860s were the Kingdom of Calabar, New Calabar, the Kingdom of uh, Grand Bonny. After the 1860s, other states tried to emerge. before the British colonialists. came to be involved directly in the affairs of this state through the Niger Company. This is the Royal Ninja Company. History is very, very clear. If you are too lazy to make investigation, you believe in lies, then you continue to believe in these lies. Nobody will excuse you from believing these lies. You continue to believe. There are available treaties, available court judgment, available memos from explorers, travelers, and so on in this part of the world. They're all there. The small, most popular of this work are Talbot and Jones, DK, who are not from here. I'm not going to talk about Alagua. Wariboko, Prince Will and others, who had also written copiously on the Niger Delta. Now, people who did not appear in any significance proportion in these narratives, narrations from people who came who were there, who visited all these places, and now today creating their own narratives, creating their own history, and telling stories, and lying. In those days, would they have been able to say this? Like I said, the people of who they came on. went to court in 19 they, they they started petitioning after the accusation of 
the land, the Pokuma, they started to petition the colonialists that the land was theirs. And the Calabari people, even though powerful, were law abiding, they went to court, 1925. They presented their facts, and the judgment was very clear. Uh, you people, are tenants. The Calabar people went home. Having affirmed their position from the strangers, they went home. In 1926, these people were still agitating. They went, they went to court until 1935. The case was decided again. And they, they told them, you people, Tenants. 1938 to 1941, they went, they took the people of Obama to court. The court still reaffirmed the judgment. You people are tenants. By their own admission in court, that yes, we are customary tenants, but we have certain rights. Just Last year, 2023, Justice Enebele delivered judgment in his Sokun versus Ilelema, reaffirming what had been affirmed 99 years ago. You are tenants. And since then, these Udekema people had been going, killing people, disturbing the peace of the area. The prominent of which, the most prominent of, of this incident was in 1996, when Kelsey Lambert, sponsored by Kalawari people, became sole administrator. Because I know quite well, as a Baptist, as a Baptist growing up, the complaint, and people like our father, Reverend City George, and others. Brought Kelsey Lambert, who was the pastor of Emmanuel Baptist Church, the Calvary Church, Baptist Church, and gave him the position of sole administrator. And his people went, killed Calvary people, burnt over 100 houses. Burnt over 100 houses. Killed so many people. That was not enough. 2005, one of that of by one of that of by was Commissioner, appointed commissioner by Orderly. The same thing happened. Several persons were killed. A busload of people, I was in detention then, was taken. Even one of my strongest people, who is from Arubo, Ekpenpele, was buried alive.
was buried alive. Two thousand and sixteen, two thousand and eighteen. Two thousand and eighteen, I'm I'm repeating because a lot of people is Dokwasari. Uh Dokwasari you haven't done too much. So you you turn a blind eye to the truth. 2018, I bought the property of former Navy captain, retired Navy captain, Ibn Prince, former governor of Cross River State, former military administrator of Cross River State. Immediately, the head of the Udekema people reciting on Ipokuma land, the building where he's staying is ADP building. It's not even where we gave them. Reciting on Ipokuma land. Petitioned the commission of police that there be a bloodbath in his words. That I have come to their community to grab land. Now, Navy Captain Ibn Princeway had a sea of O from the government. It's his own property. And let me tell you the side side of it. Navy Captain Ibn Princeway property immediately left our governor. After all, people went and vandalized the property. Beautiful place. I will show you on a live program when I return home. How that place is. They stole everything, vandalized your place, and the man left the place. They vandalized your property. And the man left the place. The same fate had befallen the property of Melford Grand Douglas, uh, Grand Douglas, Nabo Grand Douglas, uh, Chief Wenike Briggs, uh, Chief uh, uh, Fubra, and so on. The ones that were far, they, they cannot burn because. Ibn Prince's building was a casted building. All the windows, everything were removed. He abandoned the property for years. And finally, in 1918, uh, he sold the property to me. After much persuasion, I first approached him in 2004 to buy the property. He said, no, my young, my junior brother, I can't sell that property. I am emotionally attached to that property. That is the only thing I had. As a governor that I can remember, I can point to, that people can see in my place. If I sell it, what will I do? Thank God, if I, you are now a Nigerian, a club, at least we have gotten one convert. You are no longer following the Osha or whatever. Thank God, at least I have converted one person. So, they vandalized the whole place. 2004, when I approached him to buy the place, I went to the place, the place was vandalized, and he told me, ah, I can't sell it. I kept on sending people to him until 2018. 2018, he agreed that I should buy the property. 
and I bought the property. And immediately, the Onanene came of Udekame petition. And at that time, I told the commissioner through my uh, counsel, thought I'm not dick. I say, And I, I, I told, my counsel told them, please, mark these words, so, just mark these words, a statement that there will be crisis, 2018, it was not now, in front of the commissioner. So any security man there trying to make that people should take other people's land, people who are tenants. So if you have a house as a commissioner for police, as a, a brigade commander, and your tenant is in your house, your tenant is not paying rent, your tenant is telling you for him to stay in that house, you must move out of the house for him so that he can occupy the house. And you think you have conscience. Whoever you are, You put a tenant in your house, he refuses to pay rent, he's now telling you that for him to enjoy the property that he has socially taken from you, you have to leave the property for him. Which of you will agree? Which of you will agree? When your children comes out, he beats them. When your wife comes out, he molests her. When your mother comes out, he molests her. And you will agree. And you will sit down. You are tenant. You went to court. The court say, ah, Mr. Tenant. Mr. Tenant, you are exceeding your privileges as a tenant. In fact, you are no longer a tenant. You are not paying rent. said, no, I am not a tenant. I'm the owner of the property. The court went on to say, my friend, you are a tenant. You are a tenant. We are in litigation. I'm a Calabari man. I can't deny being a Calabari man. That I cannot do. If other Calabari people can, can deny being Calabari, can deny their Calabari name, can deny can be so, so, so afraid and shy of being Calabari people. I will not. I am a Calabari man. I'm not just a Calabari man. I am an Amakri and I am a Diabali. My father Diabali was prime minister in a sign of Calabari. When Calabari was a sovereign state. I bought a property legally. I bought properties legally. I am calling the name. I bought property from Honorable John Gobia legally with C of O. I did not just go and acquire land. You did not have any title to land. You enter somebody else's land and you are allocating this land. And those who are supposed to enforce the law are there. As we are talking, you petition the INC. I didn't petition the INC. You petition the INC. The INC invited us. We went. They said we should maintain status quo. Everybody should day is day. You day are day. Make who day or day. 